Uh, welcome to Boomerankers once again. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for the interest and uh, all the likes and uh, questions that have come through. It's, it's excellent because it's a new product and uh, I understand that you need to ask lots of questions about it. One of the questions that's come through has been, uh, it's just an, uh, another upgrade on, on the zip tie design. Um, yes, I could say it is an upgrade on it. Uh, I'd also like to say that it's, I feel that it's a lot safer uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have designed it. The zip tie design, uh, basically, when when it lets go, what we found, and we've had a number of times where had a few issues with the zip tie design. I've just put a small zip tie on here. It it breaks from a side on. So if you, it's a side on uh, process for it to break on break. Uh, whereas with with the boomer anchor, it's it's a direct pull. So it's a direct pull on the shaft on the shear pin. Plus, it's got a secondary feature, which is these angles, these, these pivot points here, actually put pressure on the shaft also. So there's two ways of breaking the shear pin. So you've got basically two safety factors for shearing this anchor. So what I will do now is I'll put a very simple, small zip tie on the, for the zip tie design. And we've set up a, a hoist simple hoist design here and uh, and we put it into something would be very difficult to get out of I'll oh, tie a tube a tire I should say but um, I think the thing about it is that underneath the ocean there's some pretty gnarly country down there and this would be an example of getting caught on a rock or a reef or something like that and you've got that straight direct pull trying to pull your anchor up so if we we try and get that to break what you end up with is with a direct pull you basically are still pulling in line with the shaft with the zip tie design now to the boomer let's break break the zip tie And first of all, with this trial, we've got the 4mm pin in here. That'll take 120 kilos of pressure. It's factory tested, uh, and that, if it was a 3mm pin, it would be about 60 kilos of pressure. And, and this, is a, this is a measured, controlled release that we have here, in, 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 instead of uh, something that is a little bit of a guesswork. So we're to put the anchor in, So we've got, because some people have said to me, oh the anchor seems to release easily. Don't worry about that. This anchor doesn't release. So it's got just as much power as any other anchor that's out in the market when it comes to actually holding. However, because of the, the factory release, if I was to put something That does release easily. For this example, we'll just use a matchstick. So now, if we put a matchstick in, just to give you an example of the anchor, it gets stuck the same as this anchor here, or a plow anchor, whatever it might be, it gets stuck on the reef. So now, when you put that direct pressure on, it collapses and releases and you get your anchor back every single time. So I'd say, suggest, check us out on the website. Uh, do, your, do your homework. You will not be disappointed with this anchor.